Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ryan again from Resell CMY. We're just going to do one day of sales, eBay sales in this video. We did have 18 for $558.40. A lot of orders going out. And in this video, we're really going to show you why we list so many small items when we have them. Um, there's going to be a bunch of small ones going out. Uh, before we pull orders, I do want to mention that the winner of our subscriber giveaway, it has been claimed. Miracles by a night. Uh, contact me yesterday we went back and forth verified it was her going to be shipping these out today so thank you very much to everyone who participated and congratulations to her for winning um, just a reminder when we get to 3,000 subs we plan on doing another giveaway as well so subscribe with us down below help us get to that point also yesterday um, I don't know if you guys remember from a couple years ago those of you who have been with us a while or um, we sponsor a race car what do you, what kind of car do we want to call it dirt, dirt car sportsman. dirt dirt sportsman car um a buddy of ours from high school uh races here in central new york and uh we sponsor his car he stopped by yesterday uh we were sponsoring him sponsoring him again this year but he dropped off uh a picture of his car that he signed now you can't really see the signature up there but right there resell cmy right there on the front it's on uh both sides as well um yeah happy to do that so thank you matt for uh stopping over and giving us those yesterday and uh taking our money <laughs> uh what else are they gonna oh and we're gonna do a viewer question later uh at the end of these sales because uh kind of pertains to something we have going on tomorrow we're going halfway down to pennsylvania um and uh doing a deal for right now it's at a thousand dollars two days ago it was at 600 they keep adding to the deal, so we keep adding money. We think it's going to be a really good deal. So we'll explain that deal at the end of this while answering a viewer question. So, yeah, a lot all in this video today. Paul's with me. I am. I'm back. I'm feeling better from chemo. Yeah, you do seem to have a lot better energy today. Yeah, I'm only have like fog today. If you guys have ever done chemo, you kind of know. You get like a chemo fog, it actually makes you feel dumber than you are. Like you're not as sharp, you're slower, and I'm dealing with that today, but that goes away in a couple days and I'll be fine. Yeah, and then it'll be sharp as a tack. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so I want to talk about this, why we list so many smalls. You're, it's it's going to be evident in this. They're going to be easy to store. Uh, they're typically easy to, to list. Easy to ship. Um, easy to ship. Um, with Google image now, they're really easy to find. So some of this stuff might be like obscure, uh, typically like years ago might be stuff that we didn't list, but with Google image now, the stuff Google image makes us so much extra money every year now. Uh, 8A, the first item here is going to be a small little weird thing here. This is actually going international. I listed that. I didn't want to because it was so, I was going to throw in a garage sale thing and I was like, eh. It's worth uh, really? 15 bucks free shipping. Nice. It's a vintage Asian handmade pin cushion. Uh, yeah. Just Paul grabbed it out of a, where did this come out? Dan's tote? Yeah, I bought one of these totes. It was just junk in there. Nice. Did you use Google Image yeah, for this too? Yeah. Well, so, I use eBay Image mostly. I, I go right You do that now too, yeah. right? Because eBay's, they'll find anything on their site. Where Google Image will find everything on the internet. eBay will, if, they're, so if they match up, they'll If you don't find it on eBay, do you go right to Google? Google Image. Nice. So that was uh, $15. It is free shipping on this, but it says in the screenshot plus shipping because it is going international. So over here, a couple more of these Two glasses Schlitz. going out. Two Schlitz glasses. They're a Pilsner. I don't know if they're a full pint. Yeah, they look smaller than a full yeah. pint to me. We might have to fill those up and drink them real yeah. quick. And we'll let you know. So those glasses, they came from that last little meth buy. There was, uh, and for those of you who don't know the meth buy, you're just going to have to go. We've explained it a bunch of times in the videos. Um, there was a big tote just full of glassware. Paul listed it all. And uh, there's a couple extra dark spots in here today. Whenever it's super sunny outside, it, gets it feels darker in the video. So the next one's going to be in D22. 22. 22. So we were, I was walking, following you over there yeah, for no I was, reason. I don't know why I was going. I was just looking around. So here's another small item, but a quantity of, a, of smalls. These are U.S. potion stamps. Uh, they're like pins, though. 
They are pins. They are pins. Yeah, and it's a classic monster. So there's like Wolfman and Dracula, Frankenstein, the Mummy. Paul lotted all these up. How many total was in there? I don't even know. Uh, it looks like eight right here. Eight, yeah, or so. Oh yeah, eight. Um, twenty dollars plus shipping. Again, these small little items. Um, had to lot them up to get the, to the value out of them, but again, super easy. This was awesome. This other one. So we sold one of these like maybe three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yep. Um, this is another one of those Crown Crafts. Remember that name right there, Crown Crafts. If you see Crown Crafts brand new bag like this, pick them up. Uh, pick them up, and you know, even if you find them used, you know, figure a fraction of this price still might be worth it for a few bucks. This one right here, uh, dinosaur spread, ninety dollars plus shipping. So when you're listing a bunch of the smalls and they're selling. All you need is a couple orders like that to come through to really fill out the day. Another one of these cut and sew patterns. That's actually the best one we own. This is like a blue teddy bear. Yeah, let me get out of the pillow. sun a little bit. Yeah, yeah so it's two-sided and you can cut it out. You can sew Some it together, and stuff it. Pillow. Yep. And uh, this that... one sold $30 free shipping. No, that was a good one. That's the third different one to sell. Uh, the other ones were two dog ones that we sold to be for. Honest, I dodged that bag full of that fabric for a month. Just because it wasn't yeah, fun. Yeah, just because I didn't even want to list it, and there it is selling. <laughs> <laughs> we should almost use like if there's like cheaper ones of these, we should almost use them to like block out those windows so we don't get these giant sun laser beams pouring through the shop. Uh, another little small item here. This one would have been better. Um, I'll pull up a separate screenshot now. I don't want to take these all out of the bag. Uh, you can see the Joker in this one. 1994 National Periodical Publications. They're like just trading cards. They're actually from Wonder Bread. Um, listed a couple different Wonder Bread kind of gifts uh, a couple days ago now. I lotted up these five cards though. There's Robin, the, uh, the, jo the Riddler, Batman, Wonder Woman, the Joker. Um, lotted them up and sold them for $18.04 free shipping. If they were in way better condition, uh, you could probably sell a few of those for like $12, $15 each by themselves. This light's flickering over here and making a little... It's always that set ball. Really? Every day. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I could hear it. Okay, next is a G.I. Joe. Yeah, this is going to be J7. <laughs> really count this as a small just because I chose to list it like this <laughs> um, it is a small item though this is 1982 flash this is the straight arm version so it only articulates at the elbow and not at the mid bicep there so for $23.74 free shipping to a repeat buyer thank you so much if you watch this channel another small one Obviously. Long time ago. This came from the old technology buy. It's in a grimy little package there, but it is a Hewitt, Hewlett Packard 11660A tracking gen shunt. One of those. Yeah, a little shunt. A little metal piece in there. Look for those guys. Uh, it just looks like something you add on to the, the end of a some whatever wire they're using for this. Um, this came from a huge buy, huge technology buy. It's been listed for a while, but again, it's it stores so easily, ships so easily. Thirteen dollars twenty nine cents, free shipping. Next to the vinyl, on the gray tote. Gray tote D, Braden. So D is here. It's gonna be in this mix. Looks like this one right here. Yes, that is it. Mary Jane, Mary Jane Girls. Girls in my house, 1985 promo 12 inch, and that is sold for 9.49 free shipping. Yeah, so extremely cheap one here. Um, we'll only be left with like three, four bucks after shipping this out, but it sold and we'll make a little bit of money on that. Next one's pretty. Cool. I pulled that already, Did Paul. You? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, next one we can relist. Yep. So this one here. This is sold a few times for us though, and we have a few more up there. Hold it next to this one. Three more to be exact. And if you look, the one that we have listed that just sold has this Toys R Us tag. This one does not. Um, that's why every time one of these sells, we relist with new uh, pictures. pictures. The next one too, Paul, yep. 
has the little top piece, the little hanger is ripped through. So we need to make sure on that one we adjust. But this has been a good one for us. 1991 Headman's Narcotics Guard sold for $70 plus shipping. So that is an awesome one. Actually, the bookshelf here. It's going to be right here. I see it. I put them here. That's how I know. These this old is sticker books are awesome. Whitman Dinosaurs Prehistoric Wonders of the World sticker book. It's brand new. Press out, stick on, color. I'll show you guys a 1973. There's some stickers. It's all new. You put them on the side here where they match up, I guess. Like a kid's book, but 1973, brand new, never used. What did it sell for? $15. $15 free shipping. And he had a whole bunch of different variants of these sticker books. And these old ones sell good. Was that the one of the better ones? Or didn't you have some that oh, were no, even that, higher? That uh, Fat Albert, Fat Albert maybe? one. That one's good. It's like 50 bucks. Yeah. So keep your eye out for old unused sticker books. Another one of these little trinket dishes, candy dishes kind of thing. Oh, so nice. looks like there's maybe just one left. Oops. This is Crystal Darks. I always sound weird pronouncing that. It's cobalt blue cut to clear crystal. It looks like a trinket dish. That's how I listed it. Um, $14.24 plus shipping on that one. And here, D18, another small item. This one is really small. I don't even remember where this came from. A lot of this stuff gets set aside for so long that... We don't even know. We just put all the little tiny things in like a tin or a box or something. And then one day I sit there and go through them all. It's right here. This is B of RT. So Brotherhood of Railroad Trainmen Lapel Pin. 10 years membership. It's a little pin sold for $10 free shipping. After shipping it out, we'll be left with like $5 and change before uh, the rest of the fees come out and or taxes. Next one's right here. Uh, screenshot's gonna show you this better. It's a lot of 15 plus assorted mm -hmm. vintage die cut Easter decorations. Oh yeah. One sided and they sold for $19 plus shipping on those. Heck yeah, that's a bonus that little buy. That paper stuff that's in this tote right it here. It was all that lotted was together. All right nice, we got another little book going out. This is... I think it might be one of the... these ones. Is that it? Nope, Punisher. Oh, right behind it though. Nope, the green, that might be it. Here, you wanna grab it? I, nope, I, I wanna this. drop the Punisher. Is that it? Yep. So we just got one of these golden all-star books, the greatest Muhammad Ali. We had a, a bunch of these golden all-star books. This one, for whatever reason, hadn't been selling. Uh, finally sold the first one. It looks like we have like three or four left. $10 free shipping. So again, we'll be left like five bucks on that. Can go medium mail. It's just a little book. Uh, those do sell well, though. We've sold a bunch of them. Some of them for decent money. Another small going out. This time a quantity of two. It looks like looks like a gray. Gray with red. Yep, gray and red. And it is in bag two. Is it? Okay, yep. it's in the bag. Three, two. Yep. Here. There's oh. only two in there, so that's perfect. All right, two of these tornado keychains going out to the same buyer. Total order twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents. Free shipping. Another small. And I'm gonna go to another small right here. I think I, uh, that might be a different one. Purple rectangle one, simple wants. That is it. My needs are simple. Me wants, my, me wants. <laughs> my needs are simple. My wants are extremely expensive. Paul has this on his key, key oh, that ring. That is my personal. Yeah, uh, for, uh, $15 free shipping on this. Pretty cool, Hallmark keychain. Um, bringing that kind of value like that. You see, we sold three of them the other day, right? To the same buyer. Three of what? The, those keychains. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Oop. I almost fell. All three of these were lined together, it looks like. Yep. Okay. They were too, because they just didn't have a ton of value. Uh, big, giant Elvis poster books. Lotted three of them together. $12.34 plus shipping on that. And it took a while for those to sell. So that is it. Um, real quick too, we didn't have any dingers in this video. Close with that blanket. I have been forgetting to use this bell when we sell an item for over $100. I apologize to everybody. I came up with it and, I, and it is me. 
It is me that has forgotten to use it like six different times now. I almost contemplated like sitting here like solemnly and just like dinging one for in remembrance of everyone that I forgot. <laughs> you know, it <laughs> just like uh, ding. Like I'm at a uh, military funeral or something. I do feel bad though because I go to edit video and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to do it again. And then someone called me out in the comments. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna ship real quick, and then we're gonna come back with a viewer question and talk about the uh, buy we have lined up for tomorrow. All right, we got everything shipped right there. Um, right here is the uh, subscriber giveaway too, all packaged up. Okay, I'm going to read you the question we received, then we're going to talk about uh, the deal that we're going to pick up tomorrow, and we'll try to answer this question. We don't have a ton of info on it, but we'll do our best here. It said, last video I asked about sourcing specifically with the G.I. Joes, and you said you bought a lot of collections. I've heard that three times this week from resellers, do you advertise on Facebook, Tradio, or something? Just curious. I'm in a small rural Appalachian community. I travel a hundred mile radius every other week and still picking his lean once yard sale season starts, it, it'll it be better. But till then, do you have, and Paul have any advice, any online sourcing secrets? So I don't know if we have any secrets. Um, we'll answer it in detail here in a second. I do want Paul to kind of tell you just how he went about finding the deal that we're going down towards. The, the people that we're buying from are in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which is just below the border a little bit. We're meeting them halfway in like Binghamton, New York to make this deal. Uh, Paul, do you want to talk about just how you found that deal real quick? Uh, sorry about that, guys. I was just finishing, finishing a listing. A listing. Um, how I found this deal was I was... What helps Ryan and I, we look for collections a lot. That's our main word. My search is collections, huge collections, massive collections. I'll write that in there. So it helps over time of years of searching the same thing. Facebook Marketplace kind of relays that kind of Remembers, information yeah. to me almost immediately. So I, I was, and I broadened my horizon, obviously for large collections, we'll drive a few hours to make money like this. But I just found, a, looked like a bunch of old pictures of Hot Wheels in their old cases. And she was had them listed, not a real price on them. I might message back and forth a few times. We actually spoke this morning. She does clean out. She, her and her husband or boyfriend Ryan, they do cleanouts. They found different Ryan hundreds and hundreds of Hot Wheels and slot cars. Now they've added slot cars to the deal, Power Rangers to the deal, Star Trek stuff to the deal. I basically say anything and everything that you got that you want to sell, and people are real willing to get rid of it, we'll buy it up as long as we can resell it again. And uh, one of the main things uh, that turned Paul onto this deal was not only the pictures of the Hot Wheels, but you saw all the stuff in the background, right? Yep, all the stuff. So one, of the, one, one little tip I would say is pay attention to the stuff that's in the background. You can tell a lot about the seller and kind of gauge whether they'll have more stuff to sell other than what they have in that listing. That's worked out for us multiple times. And another thing is when you go to meet the people or when you're communicating with them, ask. Always ask if they have any other collections that they wanna sell. Uh, don't pigeonhole yourself to just buying, like in this scenario, if you just saw the Matchbox and Hot Wheels and only did that, we'd have been missing out on a whole bunch of other stuff that really sweetened the deal. Paul was excited about the deal, thought it was good, and then since they've added stuff, thinks it's gonna be a really good deal. It's gonna be even better. Yeah, yeah. so, I and we might have another source too. Kind of 56 slot cars, or at least bodies of slot cars on there, and I offered an extra 400 on top of what it was. We were average, our average on slot cars last time was about 10 bucks a piece, right? When we bought when them. We bought, we bought them for about 10 so bucks So I a piece. tried to beat that average and I gave her 400 bucks for 56 of them that I seen. Yeah, so and you'll see fun. more about that in the next video because I'm going to have the actual buy in that video as long as it goes down and stuff. Um, we search pretty much the same way on Facebook and on Craigslist. Those are pretty much our two main sourcing uh, places for collections. And uh, besides that, let people know what you do. Yeah, let people know what you buy. There's been a lot of people local that uh, reach out to us or stop us or see us delivering boxes to the post office. Also, the same thing at garage sales. Um, 
you've heard us talk about the meth buy a bunch of times at the garage sale. We bought their stuff. We asked, do you have any other collections? Do you know anybody that has any other collections? Um, I'd search the same way for Facebook and Craigslist. I start with a narrower search. So maybe within 20, 30 minute drive of where we're located in New York, I'll search for collections there and I'll sort it out. So <laughs> it's at the highest. Cause I want to see the, I want to buy the biggest collections there are. I don't want to go spend $300 and make $700. I want to spend $5,000 and make $30,000. Like that's, that's my main goal is to buy. I want to fill the shop with stuff. I don't, I don't want to have to keep sourcing. Um, if I don't find anything, um, within that 20, 30 minute range, then I'll scroll. I'll make it even bigger than New York a little bit. And then, uh, I'll I'll do it the same way there. And like Paul said, Facebook basically learns what you like. Yeah, they, right? I almost suggest every. I started looking at RC cars, and now it's like RC cars and collections of stuff. Yeah. So it just learns you data mining. Yeah. And uh, puts what you yeah. like in front of you. So under that same, under that same rubric though, he has to scroll through tons and tons of porn sites that are getting recommended to him too because of the data mining from previous searches. <laughs> no, nothing. You well, didn't hear anything I said. No, I'm you? reading something. He's actually. lost. He's lost. He's a, he's a one trick pony over there. Um, what else was I going to mention? Oh, think outside the box. Here's a here's a good example too. Uh, during the first year of COVID, I saw a Craigslist ad that was like someone's like kind of walk in attic, and it just had tons of boxes and a bunch of like dressers and stuff. And I showed Paul, and I'm like, this looks like really old stuff, and there's a lot of boxes there. It's a one town over. Let's just go check it out. We ended up buying, going there twice. We had all the original Star Wars figures with their weapons. Weren't we missing like two weapons out yeah, of the whole it. original the whole set? Kit. Like nice. we ended up spending like, what was it? Like $80 the first time? Yep. 75 I thought. 75 yeah. bucks? It was like it 75 lot. bucks and it was so truck it was my truckload of stuff. The guy had bought the house, was trying to just, it was all just going to go into a dumpster. Um, just think outside the box based on the pictures. Um, but I don't really think there's any sourcing secrets. I think you don't need that many collections to get by. Um, with garage sale season, yard sale season, you need to kind of load up and kind of have that fulfill you all from week to week to week in listing. And then maybe save a little bit of that inventory or buy so much that you have some that rolls into winter. Um, besides that, you really only need, what would you say? Five, six collections? Depending on the size. Yeah, depending like the on the size. The collection we found, we spent like 885 total on that the two times we went there. I think we made like 13 grand, right? Yeah. This that's one? Just, that's a Craigslist ad. I, I literally type in trains. Search up trains if you want to start selling model train collections. And then go find a good one. And that was on there and we hopped right on it and went out yeah. there and got it all. And then when you're looking at these collections, try to let like, you know a certain percentage of the collection pay for whatever number that you're offering yeah so when the gi joe one it literally said gi joe's i have a lot of stuff there wasn't even pictures with it it was in albany i messaged the person they sent me excellent pictures they had it all just you know probably 30 pictures um i took some time then that, that night i went through with a notebook i looked up probably 30, 40 figures, the carded ones, and said, okay, right now I'm at like $2,800. And then I got this, and I got this, and I got this. I'm comfortable at 4,200 because of all the other pictures of all the other stuff. And it ended up working out even better in our favor. Um, you're already, the person that I'm asking Ridge Life here, you already have part of the battle down. You're willing to drive a hundred mile radius and in, in different directions and stuff. If you're willing to move like that, there's going to be big collections somewhere. I don't care what state you're in. I mean, outside of maybe like Montana or something like that, right. you know, where there's hundreds of miles, uh, with just flat grounds and, you know, uh, people chasing mountain lions with dogs. Uh, but yeah, uh, was there something else that I was mentioned before we answered this? Did you talk about a race car? Are you dead? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about this this question in general though, or this deal. Not that I'm aware it was of. just Facebook, Craigslist, right? Facebook and Craigslist says, 
we do we have had some people contact us knowing what we do like jason baker they contacted us yeah. knowing what we do marty's house contacted us knowing what we do so we've had a few picks from people knowing what we do and just offering it up jeff's was kind of offered up to us like that too i didn't have to yeah. search for it you know and a lot of those typically mm -hmm. won't be your huge, huge deals like those are more along the lines of like we spent eleven hundred and we sold it for thirty five hundred or thirty eight hundred. We're making fifteen hundred dollars over this over a week or something like that. Um, just be diligent. Always ask for more. Think outside the box a little bit. Expand the stuff that you sell. If the right collection of anything comes up, we're making money off it and we can ship it. We're going to freaking buy it. Yeah, I know. I mean, literally, go back to our earlier videos. We have a room full of porcelain dolls that we had to like, a lot of them were loose that we had yeah, to sell. Yeah, it was a good buy though. We made yeah, it was a that. January buy that led to a bunch of money. So, yeah, you're not going to have too many. There, there's other people that will act like they're offering you, you know, 15 other ways to source and stuff like that. It's best to just be really, really good uh, at two or three different things, whether it's garage selling, uh, going to the regional markets or something like that, thrifting. Like me and Paul, we suck at thrifting. I've never, I hate it. Yeah, I, we suck. I basically I've, hate walking in there. I feel like they're <laughs> up pricing everything. Especially it's now. Mostly clothes. Yeah. All the shit that's on the shelves is junk. Yeah. Especially, we live in rural upstate New York, central New York. Like, you want to talk about rural Appalachia? We ain't big city up here either. We don't have those goodwills and shit. We'd have to drive to the city to find one that. Yeah. Our Salvation Armies are literally the same shit's been there for six years, and they don't. They don't. <laughs> no, it's never. It's never rotated half, once. Half of it's stuff that we donated there. Yeah, it's never. Our but we feel like we're kind of. Uh, we definitely we're at like twelve minutes now, so we've definitely been answering this for a little bit here. I'm sorry if that's not like a ton of information, but if you stick with this channel, you'll see exactly how we will try to show exactly how we work these deals every single time so just stick with us for those of you who are just watching this for the first time sub with us like the video um we did have one video get like 125 likes so let's see if we can beat that too maybe i'll add that to the record yeah. the record board but uh thanks everyone i hope that helped let me know uh anybody else that has sourcing comments leave them uh leave them down below if you have other other ideas Maybe uh, people can read through the comments and get better information than what we could provide. Thanks, everyone. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.